Hi, this is Michael Kennedy from Developmentor, and welcome to my series, Python for the C-Sharp Developer. This is the seventh episode in the series, and this time we're going to look at Lambda expressions. And we're going to look at these Lambda expressions first in C-Sharp and see how they work in sort of ways we're familiar with, and then we're going to see what Python has as an equivalent and how things work in Python. Okay, so let's start out looking at .NET here. So here's a really simple program and it has this function called special numbers. And what special numbers do, does is you give it a limit. It turns out this is sort of unnecessary, but anyway, we can give it this limit and it'll just return a bunch of numbers. And right now it's just in series, but what we can do is we can add a predicate here. That's a type of delegate, a predicate of integer. And we'll call test here. So if I say something like if test and call this function uh, for i, that is working out. Then we're going to go over here, and only in that case will we return it. So you can see down here it's saying special numbers requires a method. Notice I have this one written right here is even. Actually, sorry, I should have named it is odd. So is odd, we can pass this. It takes an integer and returns a bool. So we can just pass that as the function to be used as the test. So when I run this, you would expect odd numbers, let's say up to 40. One, three, five, seven, perfect. Looks like it works great. So this is like old school .NET. This is .NET from way back in, you know, .NET 1, C Sharp 1. Of course, they've introduced a new way to do this. We could have a Lambda expression. We could just say this method is going to be given in a number n. It's going to go to n mod 2 equal equal 1. And that's a Lambda expression, that bit right there. So instead of having this separate method over here, let me just get rid of that. We can just put the test right in line. All right, let's run it again. Ooh, look, it still works. Let me just change it to prove. Let's say we'll get all, all the numbers that are divisible by three. There we go, one, four, seven, so on. Well, okay. So there we have it. Uh, let's put it back to my odd numbers just for consistency. So that's sort of the idea of Lambda expressions. They show up all over .NET. They show up in link. They show up in event handlers, everywhere. But this is the essence. Instead of having a separate method that describes what I want to do, I can just type the code sort of in line where it's being used, but still where it's consumed, it's passed as if it were a function out here, and we can call it. OK, so let's switch over to Python and see what we got there. So here we are in a very similar program in Python. Let's get rid of this. Here's my main method. We have this function called special numbers again. And what it does is it uses yield return, basically the yield keyword to generate an iterator. And it says for every number in this uh, between zero and up to, but not including the limit, uh, we get a 40, so we're gonna end up with anyway. Uh, we're gonna print that out. So then we just loop over it just like we did in our for each loop there. So if I run it, you can see here's my zero to 39. Of course, just the number 0 to 39, they're not very special. Maybe we want to do a test, like here's another is odd function, and I can actually pass that as a parameter here. All right, and I can say this takes a test. All right, we don't declare the types here, we just say that. So we'll just say, all right, this is a test, and I'll say if test of n. In that case, we're going to yield n. Otherwise, we're not going to. So if I run this again, I should get the numbers that are, is odd. There we are, one, three, five, seven. Perfect, just like C sharp one O style that I showed you. So now the stage is set to do something with Lambda. How do we do that? Well, let's first comment this out, um, like so. And let's just put it up here. So in C sharp, we wrote X, X goes to, we don't have that syntax. Instead, we say X colon, and we're gonna say N mod two equal equal one. But uh, we need to sort of have another way to indicate this is a lambda. So in Python, you say lambda x goes to, uh, sorry, n goes to n mod 2 equals 1. So very, very similar. So you say lambda rather than um, declare this. And I think I want to probably change that because the scoping of that variable is probably not going to work out well. OK, so here we have our m. m goes to this. Now let's run it and see if we get the same thing. Ooh, there's our numbers again. Notice, let's comment it out. Let's just check out all the numbers that are divisible by three if I subtract one from them. All right, so one, four, seven, and so on. You can see that very, very similar to .NET lambdas, 
n goes to n mod 2 equal equal 1. Here we go, lambda goes to m, or sorry, lambda m colon, I still read that in my mind as goes to, I, anyway, mod 3 equal equal 1 in this case of what we're testing. Okay, so uh, just like .NET, Python has some really great lambda expressions. They also have closures and many of the other sort of anonymous delegate type of features that C Sharp has, and they even have some things that C Sharp doesn't have around functions. Okay, hopefully that's useful. See you later. Bye.